All right, here she comes into the room on Outdoors with Larry Ray, one of our most favorite, most sought after, and most expensive person that we have here <laughs> on the payroll. <laughs> As she comes into the room, the one, the only, Marty Marbury from West here Tennessee Tourism. On Saturday morning. Saturday Yay! morning. Way to go, Marty. And Marty, we actually gave you prime time this morning, 645. I don't know if uh, you, if you noticed that, but you have your own segment now. So, uh, you know what, yeah, so you Larry, can, I always feel like it's prime time when I'm with you guys. Oh, all you, right. You say that to all the radio stations you work for. <laughs> I know that. Come on now. You, you work for the government. So uh, in, in, anyway, this is part of her job. And it, it's a tough job. Marty had her uh, early in the week. She was in Nashville for a, uh, for a couple of days, and I tracked her down in the, uh, about the middle of the week, and I said, can you do this this morning And she, as, the, as the true camper that she is? Absolutely. Let me tell you, it's been a busy week this week work-wise. I've been in Nashville. I've been in Milan. I've been in Jackson. I've been in Brownsville. And, whoo, I was ready to come home so I could talk to you guys. I know what that bicycle's hard to ride all in miles. You know, I uh, mean, y'all know Marty has a motorcycle. She rides around on it. Says Tennessee <laughs> Tourism. You know, with her husband on the back end. That's what. That's their their duo here. But uh, that's us. Hey, uh, you know, we're coming. All right, we're coming into next week. We celebrate 16 years on the air, and I know Marty's been a, a, a tremendous part of this. Not only just I from. Have. Uh, not just because of her reports, but because of our friendship and things along this line. And in and, and, and August, people think, well, there ain't nothing going on in August. Well, I know, I know oh, August. Uh, I, Larry, I, yeah, let me that, tell you guys. Tell I, us. I'm doing things a little bit different oh, this oh, morning. All right, turn the music back on. I just had somebody Some, tell me, Yeah. I'll be so glad when school starts back because you know what? There what? is nothing to do my kids have nothing to do oh and i said where? are you serious where you got your head I've stuck got in a whole plan. list so i'm giving you the, the top scoop 30 things okay that your family can do before school starts back here we go all right you ready i'm ready this number uh, one all right Tour shiloh yes watch yeah. that opening film it's amazing Shil- i love shiloh yeah. Oh, uh, it's a, that's a day trip right there. It's Number a, two, the Tennessee River Museum in downtown Savannah. What a great little hidden gem. Yes, it is. Number three, spend the day at Discovery Park. Oh, that's a day. Number four, yeah. visit the Butterfly Garden at Blue Bank Resort. It is on the path for the Monarch Butterflies. Amazing. It is. It is. Okay. Number four. Number, number five. Number five. Yeah. Go and walk across Big River Crossing. Ooh. Number yeah. six. Uh, I'm still go walking. Go see the minefield in Brownsville. If no. you've not been there, it is. The minefield. Uh, the minefield. What is it? Now, I'm breaking in on here, but I want to find out what the minefield. I think of World War Two. I mean, what do we got? No. Uh, oh, okay. It's it a, is a huge piece of artwork oh i've that heard is of that a yeah continuous yes um project gentlemen mr trip that's right on it continuously it's huge it is, it yeah, is i've huge. heard oh i've i've seen that yes i know what that is yeah you know what it is uh, yeah there's a restaurant right there by it that i've eaten exactly. at exactly i brought up food real quickly i know what that is i'm sorry all you brownsville listeners now that now i've got it but i was thinking of uh Mine is in mimicking, or mine is in World War Two. But I've been to the mine. No, okay. right, no, no. Right, you right. know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, right, we're up to number. Okay, while you're in Brownsville, yeah. number seven. Number seven. Go see the Tina Turner flag throw. <laughs> oh yeah, on the river, eight. rolling on the river. Take, yeah, yeah okay. number eight. Take a picnic. Go for a hike at Fort Pillow. Oh, Fort number Pillow. Number nine. Yeah. Man. The Veterans Museum in Hall. Yeah, I'm saluting right Number now. Number 10, the National Civil Rights Museum. Been there. We're coming up on the 50th anniversary. Oh, come on. Next year. So really? I didn't realize that. Go there. That. Number 11, 
The yeah. teapots in Trenton. Oh, yeah. The number folks. 12. Oh, the teapots are amazing. Yeah, Charlie Covington amazing. is here, and he's marking off what he's seen and what he hadn't seen right now. His head's going to <laughs> We're wearing Charlie out over there. Number 12, the Governor Ned Ray McWhorter Library and Museum in Dresden. Now, I have not been there. I, I, I'm a new Governor uh, McWhorter. I've got a picture of him coming out of an outdoor porta potty. That's one of my oh, uh, one of my most that famous is pictures. Hilarious. Okay, Larry. go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Until he passed, I still called him Governor. Well, sure. I pa- yeah, I still called him Governor Day. We did. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right number, he was a good man. Uh, what number? Number thirteen. Oh, unlucky thirteen. The Pearl Farm. Oh yeah. I'll go see Bob Keys. Bob and Keys. Tell him Marty sent you at the at Bird the Pearl Song. Farm. Bird Song Resort. The the Pearl Farm. I've taken that tour. Uh, uh, folks, uh, it, it's something to see. Go ahead. All right, number it, fourteen. That's right. Fourteen. Number fourteen. Go to Pickwick Lake for the day. Yeah. yeah. Number 15, the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Number 16, oh, if they, you're they, in Paris, you got to go to Paris Landing State Park. Uh, you sure do. And eat the and Number, eat the, eat the, buffet. the, but the buffet. Yeah, okay. Yep. All right. Number 17, and on the weekends, they have great. Homemade uh, pies. Seafood and barbecue buffets at the end. Don't they have seafood, uh, uh, homemade pies, fried pies, too? I mean, they've got some. Yeah. Okay. Number 17, <laughs> go horseback riding at Natchez Trace oh, State no, Park. Oh, no, I can't ride a horse. Number no, 18, no, no. movies at the Orpheum. Oh, yeah, I like those Number things. 19, All right. Safari Park. I've never been number to Safari. 20. Now hold on, now hold on. I've never been to Safari Park. Any of y'all been to Safari Park? No, we've been. Larry to go. Ray, I have don't not. even tell me that. Now Greg Ratliff is saying it's awesome. I, I've seen signs. I need to go up there. I got some of my relatives are up there. You know, oh, but Larry, I, uh, it is. You drive through so it, right? Fun. You drive through it. You don't get. You don't. You know. Okay. A safari Park is where's is that at? In uh, it is in Alamo. In Alamo, okay. That's I'm right. I'm on that Safari Park in Alamo. That's one of my bucket lists right there. Okay, I'm okay. sorry. Okay, in uh, number twenty. Yeah. In August, you can go to the Southern Fried and Sweet Tea Festival in McKenzie. The Southern Fried and Sweet Number twenty one. <laughs> Go spend the day, swim, fish at Thousand Acre Lake in Huntington. Oh, okay. All right. Number 22. All right. Look at the schedule. Go to one of the shows at the Dixie. The Dixie Theater in Huntington is named after I've seen that. Dixie Carter. Yes. It's uh-huh. a great it uh, is. It's a great little theater. Yeah, in Huntington. All right. Number 23. Yes. I'm going to take us outside of West Tennessee Uh-oh. just for one thing. Okay. But it's coming up. It's the world's longest yard sale on Highway oh, 127. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've got friends that have done that. Have you, any of y'all done, ever done that? It, it goes into Kentucky, doesn't it? It starts in Alabama or oh, something? Oh, it starts up above Kentucky. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's the world. It's like 600 and something miles yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, And it's a yard sale. You just drive down the road and people are selling their yards. I mean, it's, Absolutely. A, it's amazing. You can go buy as many yards as you need. Yeah, okay. That's a lot of yards. All right. Okay, number 24. Yes. Green Frog Village. Green Frog Village. It's also in Alamo. Oh, the Green Frog Village is in Alamo, and I have no idea yes. what that is. Uh, it's, it's, I'm not going to give it away. you okay. got to look it up, uh, and you've got to go. Okay, and you can look at all this up at... Uh, What's that website? As I'm going to mention it many times. Tennessee yeah. Tourism. Uh, yeah. What is that? That's what's your absolutely. W- and Green Frog Farm and Village is so much fun. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. Number twenty-five. Yeah. I put it at twenty-five because it's a biggie. We're coming up on the fortieth. Elvis week. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. Thank All right. You. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you okay. very much. Okay. Number twenty-six. Yes. You've got to go to Pink Palace. Uh, Pink Spend Palace. The day. Go see the new CTX movie. Yes. It's uh, great. I can't take IMAX. 20, I, I, 27? 27. Go to Parker's Crossroads if you've never been. That's a cool place. Yeah, 27. It is a very cool place. Number 28. All right. Go and eat a hot dog at either a Redbirds game or a Jackson's Generals game. That's good, yeah. Go, go, on, that night when, go on that night when it's $20 and you get to eat all you want. That's the last hot dog Ooh. I'm going to eat. I did that they earlier this year. They lose money on me. Oh, man, I'm out of it. I, no more hot dogs for about <laughs> two years. Okay, go ahead. 
Number number twenty nine. Yes. Go visit the Buford Tussler Museum in oh, yeah. Adamsville. I'm walking tall down there, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Take a big stick. Number thirty, All and right. this is my last one. Yeah. Just go and pick up one of the brochures and jump on one of our Tennessee trails and byways, either the Cotton Junction Trail, the Walk and Tall Trail, the Great River Road Trail, or the Tennessee River Trail. All right. You- There's always something to do and, in West Tennessee. And that web And just find it all on TNVacation.com. TNVacation.com. Thank you, Marty. We love you, girl. Dance on love out of the road. Have there a she great goes. Weekend. All right, there she goes. Look at her. I didn't know she could move like that. Rocket Days in Lawrence, in Lawrence Yeah. Uh, the, Lawrence, Tennessee. Okay. All right. Uh, I've got a couple of minutes here, and uh, I want to throw in, he mentioned one thing. Crockett Days in Lawrenceburg, right? Right. I want to mention that she didn't mention nothing against Marty, but uh, uh, the Mid-South Hunting and Fishing Extravaganza uh, is oh, yeah. August Coming 11th up. through the 13th at the Agri Center, and that's number one on my list because this year they're going to have Daryl Worley, going to have concerts, all sorts of things going on at the Agri Center August 11th through 13th, and we'll talk a lot more about that on next week's show and as we lead up to it. So I wanted to close out this segment with uh, one of the highlights of, the, of my fifth Saturday when we have uh, Charles Covington in here, a uh, retired chaplain from Baptist Hospital. Uh, Charlie has uh, come up with another poem, and we're going to listen to this, and, it, and it's called what, Charlie? This is called A Rookie Golfer, and this poem is dedicated to all golfers who listen to this program. Okay, all three of you guys out there, listen up. Now, here we go. He appeared at once in the sign-up line for the men's golf scramble that day. He wasn't dressed like the others there on that bright sunny morning in May. His hat was an old English tweed. Over his shirt was an argyle sweater. Baggy brown knickers and argyle socks, quite free from any fashion fetter. His golf shoes were old-timey Oxford with the overhang tongue in fringe. Though his gait was good, many wondered, if he'd just come off of a binge. He carried a side-by-side L.C. Smith yeah. with good bluing but still very old, and he said, quail might fly up, or maybe a dove. I've got to be ready, I'm told. His other hand held a vintage putter with a good shiny persimmon shaft. You can use the putter, the double must go, <laughs> and the starter scanned the, scanned the line fore and aft. Tell me, why did you bring that shotgun? This is a golf course and no quail are here. Well, I heard there would be a shotgun start, <laughs> but maybe I didn't hear things so clear. The starter said to the rookie, I've got you down for our third flight starting time at nine. Practice your putter or sit on the bench. Watch your watch. We're starting on time. Do you know anything about our course? Said the starter to the colorful dude. Read over this booklet. Look at the rules. We don't want our club maligned or sued. There are lots of sand traps and water traps and some good dog legs galore. A crow's nest is found on 17. You'll need to know what's in store. Now, we don't allow cursing or swearing. No foul language of any means. No clandestine nips of ethanol and no chewing of gum on the greens. The front nine are fairly straightforward, but the back nine will call for your best. If you have any questions along the way, our veterans here will explain the rest. The rookie removed his now sweaty hat. Gosh, there's so much to learn. I never knew there was so much to golf, but I'll soon find out when it gets my turn. A first flight golfer said to his friend, from what world did this rookie embark? Well, don't get me to line, I can only guess, but I sure must say he looks the part. The fairway marshal looked befuddled. His flamboyance plays with my head. I read Golf World and keep up with the news, and I thought Payne Stewart was dead. Oh, shake it off, boss, said a caddy. These flashy ones just come and go. Be glad there isn't a covey of quail in the rough so high, and we're needed to mow. The bewildered rookie scratched his head. I'll either walk or hitch a ride on a cart. I'll have to borrow some drivers and irons, and they shouldn't ever call it a shotgun start. 
All right. I well, love that one. I now. like that. I, I like that. I'll play that one back in my mind the rest of the day right here. All right. When you get your hole in one. Uh, one day. Let's take a break. Be right back on Outdoors Larry Ray as Charlie Covenant fades out here. 